Way back in 2008, billionaire investor Prince Al Walid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia announced his intention to build the world's tallest building, the first skyscraper to reach 3,281 feet or 1,000 meters or more. The record-breaking tower was to be the crown jewel of a sprawling urban oasis called Jeddah Economic City, with aspirations to become the Dubai of Saudi Arabia. For comparison, One World Trade Center, the tallest building in the U.S., is 1,776 feet or 541 meters tall, roughly half its planned height. Nearly 15 years later, the ambitious project to construct the world's first kilometer-high building, known as the Jeddah Tower, remains in limbo. Stalled by Saudi political intrigue and COVID shutdowns, only a third of the tower has been built. Jeddah Tower, previously known as Kingdom Tower, is a skyscraper construction project currently on hold. Located on the north side of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, it is planned to be the first one kilometer high building in human history and the centerpiece in the first phase of a development and tourist attraction known as Jeddah Economic City. The design, created by American architect Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa, incorporates many unique structural and aesthetic features. It was set to be completed by 2020, but the project stalled first in 2018 and then due to the pandemic. The tower will be the tallest in the world and it is a physical manifestation of the ambition behind the Vision 2030 initiative to reduce the kingdom's reliance on oil by diversifying its economy. The tower was designed by Chicago firm Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture. Smith, one of its partners, was also responsible for the Burj Khalifa while working for Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, another architectural firm. He previously had experience designing tall buildings like the Jin Mao Tower in Shanghai and the Nanjing Greenland Finance Center in Nanjing. Covering an area of more than 530,000 square meters, the Kingdom Jeddah Tower will have 167 usable floors, seven of which will be for a five-star hotel, according to fact sheets on official websites. Another 11 floors will be for 121 luxury apartments and seven more for offices. Most of the other floors will be for housing units, a gym, spa, cafes, restaurants, and several sky lobbies. One unique feature will be the world's highest observation deck located on the top floor 660 meters high. Nearly 60 elevators will serve the floors. Some of them will be double-deckers, which is fitting the tower with its elevator system. The elevators will reach speeds of at least 10 meters per second. Amazing, right? Since this is an impressive building, of course, some facts are characteristically for it. We researched and found 10 facts about Jeddah Tower. 1. The structure, formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, will be home to the world's highest observatory. It will also have a separate 98-foot diameter balcony, which was originally intended to be a helipad. 2. The building is so big, they're unable to show it realistically in one rendering. Only elevations and a bird's eye view can contain the entire project. Imagine those construction drawings. 3. The foundation piles are about as large as a small room at 10 feet in diameter and can reach up to 360 feet in length. 4. Its shape is functional. The narrowing silhouette has to fight the wind as well as gravity, so the three-sided shard is designed to be aerodynamic. The taper also helps maximize usable area. It offsets the large core size on the lower floors by widening the base, while the shape also narrows the core overall, making it less space-consuming at the top. 5. Its form is interesting for a tower of its size. The three-petal plan allows separate extrusions to nudge against one another, while the profile is inspired by folded fronds of young desert plant growth. Gill-like indentations add another scale of visual intrigue. 6. It's on a plinth. But joking aside, the building does meet the ground in a nuanced, thoughtful way. Transportation routes crisscross around it, and the plinth melds it with its urban surroundings. 7. Jeddah Tower will have 59 elevators and 12 escalators, and five of these elevators will be double-decker. The lifts will not reach the speeds of normal elevators as the change in air pressure at those altitudes would cause nausea. 
three sky lobbies will prevent any one elevator from having to go all the way to the top, eliminating the need for excessively huge cables. 8. It has high-tech features. A high-performance exterior wall system, including low-conductivity glass, will minimize energy consumption by reducing thermal loads. 9. There are super cool patios all along its three sides. Each side features a series of shaded notches where outdoor terraces offer extreme views of Jeddah and the Red Sea. 10. The massive structure will contain 80,000 tons of steel. Parts of the core will contain concrete that is several meters thick. You will admit that this is a unique and daring project. It takes a lot of courage and effort for someone to decide to build the tallest tower in the world, and Saudi Arabia did it. Well done. It's a pity that the construction stopped temporarily, but we're sure that soon the works will start again and that the world will get its tallest tower. Just imagine that one day you are a hotel guest inside this tower, and you're looking at Saudi Arabia from the top of the building. Maybe you can even touch the clouds, just imagine that. It would be magical like in a fairy tale.